Hey, so um, I'm Pam Bertoli and this is the tutorial for Trouble in Mind. I'll play a verse or two so you remember how it goes and then we'll break down what's going on. chords out of the key of E. I have a capo on the third fret, so it's sounding in G. And what we have, we start with an E chord, and then an E7, which by rights should be a B7. The song actually has a B7 there, but I put an E7 in because I was going for a darker, more mournful um, feel for the song. And then A7. G note on the high E and a little embellishment on your A7 or something like that and then um, E7 again E again and here we walk up to C sharp and that is um, leading into the 1625 progression which is a jazz progression not often seen in this song actually um, but it uh, it creates a nice feel. I like it. And um, then from the C sharp, you go to the F sharp, to the B seven, which is the five, and back to the one. So it's one the one chord, six chord, two chord, which is the F sharp, and I'm grabbing the bass with my thumb over the top. B seven. That's um, comes from I think originally I got rhythm rhythm changes. It's in that song and then became a pretty standard jazz progression. Um, so that's the only tricky thing. Then there's turnarounds in the song, um, and I often use this one. So it's the G string going up to the fourth fret, the high E on the fourth fret, then third fret, second fret. And you can do the low version of that as well. So you're using the G string on the fourth fret and the low E, fourth fret, second fret, hammer back on the E, and then run it up to the B7, and then you're back into the top. So as far as picking patterns go, I do several in there. One would be you can use on this song. So just, just vary it up a little. <laughs> and 
Yes. And the other thing that I do sometimes is just throw in a random strum somewhere where you feel a little energy needs to be discharged. <laughs> Things you can do on the turnarounds, so you can just rhythmically vary them. So you could do, um, just, you can first of all you could slide up into it. Same on the low E. Or you could do something like. know the guitar neck very well at all and I don't have a lot of melodic inspirations <laughs> like I wouldn't know where to go so I just mess with the rhythm and it's a way to be creative um, in your expression of some of these things without having a lot of knowledge <laughs> it's a total hack um, okay the break uh, the break in trouble in mind that I did was um, pretty short <laughs> seventh fret and then you go to your a7 so hammer that um, B string and then on the E string third and second fret hammer to the E chord